Welcome back everyone, Komakale here, and this is Witcher, and we're getting ready to do, or start, part 5. Last time we left off, I said that I was going to go into the crypt and uh, do this mission for one of the guys. So let's go ahead and, let's see, I made a cat potion. I think there's some more stuff I might want to make. Well, let's see what formula I have. Okay. I was hoping I might be able to make some sort of a... Um... Oh, I might be able to make Tawny Owl. Let's, let's go ahead and check really quick. If I can, I'm going to... What is Spectre Oil good against? Damage to specters. Okay, I don't think ghoul fall under that category. Let's make a tawny owl. And that um, regens. And really, I guess that's all I can make. I wonder if the Spectre Oil would be any good against the uh, Barghess. Oh well. Let's go ahead and meditate, get that over with. Um, there was a location of power over here. We'll use that again really quick. Recharge it. Where is it? You have to click here, and that threw me off the first time. Alright, let's go in here and drink our cat potion. Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains. Drink the cat potion or lay a torch to improve visibility in dark areas like caves or crypts. Alright, so we got one of these. Looks like we already have a visitor. I'm not sure what style is best against these guys. Let's try strong. Let's try fast on him, see if it changes anything. Doesn't do as much damage as strong, but it does keep him almost permanently stunned. So I don't know if the stun would be better, or, or the faster damage. Oh, man, this could have been so much easier. Let's go ahead and loot him. All right, so we have enough technically so that we could finish that mission. This another place apart, what does this do? Oh, same thing. Sign intensity increased by 100. Let's see what else we have. We both jumped at the same time. Yeah, fast. Fast seems to do significantly, or rather, strong seems to do significantly more damage against these guys. But fast keeps them permanently stunned. Hmm. I don't know. 
It's difficult to know which one's better. What else do we have? Oh, we got a corpse over here. Yeah, another set of dwarven dice. We don't need that. Or are these dwarven dice? I thought they were dwarven. Nope, they're not. I'd be mistaken. What's this? Signs, Igni. You have learned the Igni sign, which can be used to cause damage to opponents and to light fires. Choose a sign on the left of the screen, right click on the target to cast a sign. Nice. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Um, I think what we're going to do is go back and turn this quest into McCool or whatever his name is. I really wonder what's up with that woman. Why she uh, killed herself or if she killed herself, I don't know. No, let's just go ahead and go straight back and turn it in. I was debating whether I wanted to make anything else, but I, I can't do anything with alchemy right now because I'm not sure. Either I don't have any alcohol for a base or I'm I'm not sure. Oh, we got another fireplace over here. I think this green, I have a large amount of that. Some of the other colors, I don't have quite as many. Does my health regen automatically or? Yeah, it looks like it went up a little bit. Yeah, it's going up. Not very fast though. grab this I don't have many of those and we'll turn this this quest in like I said and then we'll head over I think maybe we'll move the time forward and put the candles into their different chapels some point I need to go during the day what's that Ooh. Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, you'll give it up, Gramps. Or else. Or what? A witcher! Kill him! Not likely. Oh, dear. Oh. You're ours, witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. I'm innocent. <laughs> See if I can. Don't hurt me. I'm in the weird thank you witcher you saved me and my laboratory my beakers my treasures anytime I know all too well what they're after to use the stolen secrets salamandra needs equipment without it the witcher's mutagens are useless they almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures they almost succeeded at Kaer Morin. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. That's interesting. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? Oh, no. Definitely not. No. It was the right decision. 
and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Albedo? Yes, this solution... Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. <laughs> what are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said, only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. Okay. Not exactly the brightest individual oh, no. are you. Hmm. <laughs> I got rid of the ghouls in the crypt. A hundred thanks, Master. Here be a month's pay. Oh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> they plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I... I, I loved her. I wouldn't know her name. It appears she poisoned herself. No, no, no! It was that vile witch! The devil's whore poisoned my Ilsa! No! I'm sorry for your loss, but I need to know about Salamandra. They have passes, they do. The only ones, leave me be. You have the evil eye, you bring bad tidings. Be gone! Don't forget to tell the Reverend I got rid of those ghouls. Farewell. <sighs> Poor guy. Let's talk to him again. Scandalous! This is the third time they've refused to acknowledge the validity of my pass! What brings you here? They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Relax. Pay first. I need that blood for my research. I know, but I need my money. Oh, there we go. Scan. Let's skip. What bring that? Nope, nothing Farewell. else to say. Um, what was that quest that we just got? Salamander's tra trail. I should see Odo. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. I think I need to. Hold off on that for a little bit, just to make sure that I get all these side quests. I think once I proceed past a certain point in the main story, I lose out on the ability to do any of these side quests. I'm not sure, but... Alright, um... I've changed my mind on what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go down and see Abigail ask her about uh, if I can see if I can ask her about the woman in the crypt see if she knows anything about that and if she does perhaps she can give me some more information on what happened Because he said that that woman poisoned herself. Oh, I also need to do this um, pass sometime at night so I can light these. No, let's let's. I want I want to do some of this stuff during the day. I'm stuttering because I can't even get my thoughts straightened out. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Abigail. Um, so I'll talk to her, then I'll go over and I'll talk to some of the people at the inn. King Foltus raised customs duties again. This bodes ill. And perhaps Zoltan will be there, and so I can talk to him about the dice, since I'm supposed to talk to him about them. Knock knock. Publisher's clearing house. What do you want? Um 
What does she have? Saltpeter, dust, goose fat. Let's buy some of this alcohol from her. I can use it for potions. I don't have a whole lot of money, but oh, this one's more expensive. And I think I can um, actually upgrade these alcohols. Okay, bark has, we already have that. 50, wow, it's expensive. So basically different levels of the alcohol um, this is strong alcohol. This means that we can use several items with it, like like five ingredients or something. I don't remember. And we have a recipe for white gall, which counts as a top quality alcohol. I need to buy some of these books. But I'm concerned... That I won't be able to find somewhere to sell them. What do you Can I ask? If you must. <sighs> See you later. I wanted to ask about uh, the young woman. So let's go ahead and read these two books really quick. This book describes dogs and wolves. It provides hints on combating them and alchemical ingredients that can be taken from the corpses of these animals. Swamp monsters. The bestiary describes swamp monsters. Swamp monsters, the drowner, the drowned dead, and the Bloidzoiger. I don't know how to pronounce that. First word makes me think of like blood, so maybe like blood sucker. I don't know. I have no idea. That's just shot in the dark. Provides information on fighting them and on alchemical ingredients that can be obtained from the bodies of the beasts. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and sort that. Um, I think I can store some stuff with the innkeeper, so I might go ahead and deposit like all my books and stuff with him. I've already read that. Let's go ahead and read this. Against non-humans by Anonymous. It was then that the elven wise men called the sages gathered in dungeons beneath Reinhold Castle. The Ellis of them said, the day and the hour have come. We are here to discuss the fall of humans. We will avenge the death of Laura Doran, and we will shed their blood, drown the world in chaos. We will hide in the forest for 500 years while the Chosen live in human cities and become their neighbors. Everyone knows their place in the plan, whether elf, dwarf, gnome, or sorcerer, or Nilfgaardian. Whoever betrays us is doomed. We will call ourselves superiors because we have no lords over us and we spit on gods. Okay. Then all swore an oath that in each drank the blood of an innocent child from a golden chalice to seal their... This sounds like propaganda. I don't think this actually happened. I think... Yeah, this sounds like another one of these pamphlets to try to stir up fear. And so they're trying to say, oh, they do all these horrible things. You shouldn't trust them because of this. I just want to make sure that I read everything. Book of Swallow. Necrophage oil. See, I think ghouls fall under necrophage category. Basics of Alchemy. By Master Jeremiah. To understand alchemy, you must understand two great truths. First truth, as above, so below. Second truth, everything is one. These truths teach that alchemical substances are everywhere around you, in field herbs, in human and animal bowels, even in rocks. This is because alchemy is life, and life is alchemy. Once you understand alchemical processes, you understand the processes of life, and the world of nature will become an open book. Yet alchemy is also knowledge. Does the potion require a flower or a leaf? Where is vermilion found? In the kidney or in the eye? 
These questions are answered by books. Therefore, read bo both the old masters and new works. Practice your herbalist skills in mixing oils and powders. However, first and foremost, experiment. Because the greatest discoveries in alchemy come about through experimentation. Huh, I didn't know I could do that. So I could just kind of mix and match and see if I come up with something. Sounds like it could be dangerous, though. What is this? Oh, it's Tawny Owl. And a couple unknown potions. Let's see, where was I? I already read this, I already read this, I already read this. Okay, so I've read pretty much everything. Alright, let's uh, take a quick jaunt over to the inn. Oh, that skull kind of weirded me out. I didn't know what it was. Boy and girl. Let's play. The beast comes for you. This is boring. These games that these kids are playing quite terrifying. Oh, hey, 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 hey. None may enter Vizima. Never mind. You're such a waste of time. Um. Yeah, let's grab that. I think these plants regrow, but I'm not sure. Ooh, blacksmith. Terrible times. Sweet. No, oh, hey. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. <laughs> I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Who are the Skoyatal? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Do you trade with them? Fuck off! You won't provoke me. S sorry. Shove off, trouble. Oh, dang it. I made him mad. Now he won't talk to me. I knew I should have thought a little bit more... No. Have a drink with me. No, thank Farewell. you. Well, maybe, maybe uh, later the dwarf will be in a better mood. Oh, hey. Herald. Um, let's ask him about the dice, and then we'll ask him. Zoltan. Uh, no. You mentioned my vanishing. Any idea why I disappeared? I'm not sure how to tell you. But you died, Geralt. Five years ago, during the massacre in Rivia, I saw some scoundrel stack a pitchfork in your gut. You bled to death on a dirty street before my eyes. Or so I thought. And I've seen enough corpses to know that there are some unexplained cases. From what I remember, witcher mutations significantly changed your body, but that makes it no easier to believe you survived. Whoa. Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. Well, sure. So how do you play? Play shoot around, I'll show you. Earn money by playing dice poker. Place your bet and left-click roll dice. Raise your bet and select the dice to roll again. The player with the best poker rank wins. 
Some characters require you to play extra rounds. Okay. Um, I'm not super familiar with poker, but let's let's go for now. Nah, let's go big. Let's go ahead and roll. See what we got. Two fours, a two, and a one. Oh, a two and two ones. I can't even see his. What does he have? Two, a five, a one, a three, and a four. Oh, wow, he's got a straight. I've got two pairs. Um... Well, his straight, I think they were telling me that that's beating mine, so let's re-roll these and maybe, it's a long shot, but maybe I can get a better... No, that's even worse. No, I got three of a kind. Pair. Let's do a small raise and then I'll roll these three. Hopefully, I can get something with that. Another pair. A five. So, two pair. Three, a three, two fours, and a two. He has three of a kind. We'll do a small. We'll roll this and let's see if maybe we can get a three or a four. As unlikely as that may be. Dang it. Exact same. All right, so he's going to win. Yeah. I've lost so much money to him already. I, I can't do this anymore. Um. Thank you, Shanny. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk to some of these other people first, see what they are, what they do. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? Sure. All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Um, can I buy anything from you or sell anything? Any news? Yeah, there we go. So what will you buy for me? You'll buy flint, you'll buy valuables, and whetstones. That's really not what I'd like to sell to you. I'd like to get rid of some of these books. Let's, um... Nobody else here really of interest. I guess we'll just go ahead and turn the books into him. What can I do for you? Uh, let's store. Actually, are some of these contracts? 
I think the contracts we can keep because um, if we have that in our inventory when we turn into quests, I think the contract goes away. But I'm not 100% on that. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll ask. What can I do for you? Got a room? Yes. Um, first of all, let's actually make... Can we make this into white gold? No, I want to use... I don't want to use you as the base. Two blue. So we'll go... Two blue and green. Right, so we got a white goal. Let's go ahead and do see I don't know what some of this stuff does. Let's try. Nope, 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 nope. Two blue and green. And one more. other potions do I have or need? Let's go ahead and make another cat potion. Let's make some necrophage oil. Let's make some specter oil as well. Alright, um, talents. We've got three talents that we can spend. I don't have any silver swords yet. Oh, we could actually work on upgrading Igni. So what does the incineration do? I guess maybe they continue to burn? That could be useful. I'll hold off on that for a moment. Let's actually investigate upgrading some of these other abilities first. Okay, increase my parry. ability to deflect arrows. What are you? Um Yeah, we'll get that. I think that increases the damage I do just slightly. All right, let's go ahead and Take a quick look at our quest and see what I want to do from that. Okay, game of dice. I know the basics. Time to put them to use. Okay, let's 
so glad. He must not yet be married to be such a carefree lad. Oompa, 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 pa. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go ahead, hey, if this uh, blacksmith is still out here, let's try talking to him again really quick. If nothing else, I can sell. Nice. Yes. Okay, so he forgot. Um... Let's, talk about, Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. Sure. This grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Listen, I've got work to do. Oh. The beast is struck again. Be alert. Let's um make our way towards that Army life. Well. cave near the walls that he wanted us to go to. So not there. Here we go. And maybe we'll swing by the the um, reverend while we're there. Let's go this way to uncover some more of the map. Okay, so this is Oboes. Doghouse with a sign that says Doghouse. Uh, I don't want to talk to him quite yet. Okay, so it looks like I am going to have to go up and follow that one road across. I was hoping I wouldn't. Is that a cat? Yeah, it's a cat. Ooh, Royal Huntsman. Let's talk to him. I'm trying to get more... Greetings. ...side quests. Oh, I already talked to him. I'd forgotten. Take care. Poor boy. Let's go talk to him. See if he has anything interesting to say. If I can catch up to him, man, that little kid can fly. Why is 
Oh, hey, I wanted to talk to you. Speak quickly. Wait, you're still grumpy. Um. I hear the Church of the Eternal Fire has offered a reward for drowners. As long as you can prove you killed some. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the Eternal Fire illuminate your path. Speak quickly. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes. But as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You? A stranger? A drifter? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Can't Speak hurt to quickly. Try. Um, no. I'll see you later. Yes. Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcanes. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's 100 orins. Nice. I guess... I no work for you. I guess it pays to talk to strangers. Hey, you, merchant. Humans and non-humans both pay the double poll tax. <laughs> A scandal. Okay, so the cave is on the other side of the bridge. I wonder if I should, uh... Mm, meditate before I go in there. Allocate some of my, uh, talents. Okay, so I wanted the deflect arrows. Let's get that. Vitality regeneration increase. I can use that. And let's take a really quick look. How many swallow potions do I have? Cat, 20 owl. I've got six. So I don't really need any more. Let's go ahead and meditate for an hour. Oh, shoot. Looks like I used up almost all my time right now. So, I think what I'll do is go ahead and stop here and then run into the cave after this. Sorry this part's been a little bit slower paced than some of the others, but um, I don't know, can't really be helped. I guess if I start traveling around a whole bunch in some of the layer parts, because I think things start being more spread out, um, I may start cutting out some of my travel time, but anyway, thank you for watching. Tune into the next part. I'll see you then.